Hi, this is just a quick little video about using arithmetic instead of logical operators like AND, OR, OR NOT um, in IF statements on Commodore 64, well, to be precise, in Commodore BASIC 2.0. Well, what inspired me to make this video uh, was the post in a Facebook BASIC programming language group, so let me show you that. And this post was made by Joe Strout, um, and he noticed that quite frequently, instead of using AND or um, OR operators, um, in IF statements they use something like this, so using just pure arithmetic. And um, he kind of thinks that this is because um, in some early basic um, versions there was no ability to use AND or OR operators, right? So what we have here should be equal um, to this right here. So we have two variables and we need to check both of them. In case they are both zero, um, then we will uh, do something um, with it. In this case, we jump at line uh, 590. Uh, but um, this solution doesn't work very well, um, in, especially in one case when both of these variables are equal to uh, number 2. Uh, in that case we can have false um, result. The guys in the, in the comment um, figure, that, figure that out um, very, uh, very quickly, um, as you can see here. Um, so I try to uh, find a way um, to uh, create a solution that will actually work uh, using just pure arithmetics. And you can see it right here. And then Peter McGavin figured it out, well, made a little bit better version. So uh, what I've done here, because uh, we have to deal with positive and negative values um, as well. Uh, so what I've done here is <clears throat> I multiply uh, each um, variable by itself. And with that, we uh, get absolute value. Uh, of that variable and then we just add those two uh, values together in case that we have zero that we, we can be um, sure that both of these variables are zero. Well what Peter McGavin um, quickly um, figured it out that we have a function that we can use for this purpose of course uh, it's um, absolute function in case that we have uh, ability to use this function um, yeah, we can do that as well. So, of course, there is some uh, other solutions for this problem. Uh, you can see here that there is um, several solutions for this problem. Um, and I tried to take a couple of them. Uh, well, to be exact, I took like five different solutions uh, for this problem. And what I wanted to do is to compare them and see which of the solution is the fastest one. So yeah, uh, let me show you which solutions did I pick. And then we can write a little program, little test program that we can measure time differences. And then we will compare the results. So let's, let's do that. Uh, what we have for our first method is just classic uh, if statement with uh, AND uh, operator, so we are checking both of these variables in case they are both zero, then um, we will do uh, something, right? So our second, uh, our second um, method will be uh, nested ifs. So if A is equal zero, then if B is equal to zero, then we will do something. Our third method is going to be if, and we are going to use equal to operator uh, to check individual variables. So let me do that. So again, we are going to check whether or not variable a is zero. And then we are going to multiply that with um, b equals to zero. So, and if this is equal to one, then we can be sure that both of these variables are zero because 
In case that both of these variables are zero, the result uh, of this comparison is going to be minus one multiplied by multiplied by uh, minus one. And this should give us, of course, one. In any other case, uh, the result will be zero. So in case that variable a is not uh, equal to zero, then we will have a zero here. Of course, anything that we multiply with zero is going to be zero and of course, vice versa as well. So that's our method number three. Uh, method number four is going to be that pure arithmetic um, solution. So in case that we have a multiplied by a multiplied by itself plus b multiplied by b equals to zero, then we will do something. So, and the fifth method is going to be exactly the same like method number four, except we are going to use the function that we have available in Commodore Basic 2.0, and that's uh, apps or absolute. So we will get absolute value of variable A plus absolute value of variable B. In, in case that this is equal to zero, then we will do something. And of course, we are going to test uh, several different cases. So we're going to test when both of these variables are equal to zero. So when variable A is equal to zero and variable B is equal to zero, uh, we are going to test when both of those variables are not equal to zero. So they are different from zero. And we are going to test when variable A is equal to zero and variable B is not equal to zero. And of course, uh, vice versa, when variable A is not equal to zero, but variable B is equal to zero. Um, so yeah, four different cases, uh, five different methods, and we're going to test which one is the fastest method to use. Okay, so this is our test program. And what we are going to do is we are going to run each of these methods, each of these if statements 200 times, and we are going to measure how much time that we need for each of these methods. So here at line number 20, we have our for loop that will run this uh, line number 30 200 times. And we have our variables A and B. Uh, and what we are going to do, um, instead of jumping to a certain line, we are going to increment this variable C each time that condition is true. And then we are going to just increment the C variable. Um, the C variable is, uh, is here just to make sure that our program uh, works uh, as expected. So we know when, when we are going to expect to have variable C to have value of 200 and when we are going to expect to have value of zero. Um, of course, we have our A and B variables defined here. And of course, we are going to use the time um, variable built in in Commodore Basic. And uh, this time variable is the number of jiffies that it's going to be necessary to perform this task. So here um, at line 10, we are going to take the initial value of a, a variable ti or uh, of the time and here when we are done with our um, loop and we are going to calculate the difference between uh, the beginning time and uh, ending time and of course we are going to print that value uh, on the screen together with our variable c so because our variable df is actually going to contain number of jiffies uh, well we could convert this to seconds but we are not so interesting in that uh, aspect. We are more interesting to see the differences between uh, those five methods. So yeah, this is our method number one, uh, which is classic if statement with um, use of and operator. Um, so uh, our variables a and b are zero and zero. And now let's run our method. It's 148 and 200. So let me write that. Okay, then we need to check when both of these variables are not zero. Let's run that. 89, zero. Okay, now 
five zero. Ninety-nine, and then zero five ninety-nine. Okay, method number two, and we're going to set both of these variables to zero. Our method number two is nested ifs, so then. If okay, let's go with this. Let's run this. So let me now populate a little table I made and um, that we can compare uh, five of those methods and see which one is the fastest. So and these are our results. So in each row we have different cases. So we have four cases when variables a and b are zero uh, are not equal to zero and. Uh, when one is uh, not equal to zero, the other one is equal and vice versa. And in columns, we have uh, five different methods that we use. And as you can see, uh, there is quite differences between the methods. Uh, so definitely the fastest method um, when both of these variables um, are equal to zero um, is method number five. So, uh, when both of these variables are not equal to zero, of course, the fastest method is the second one, uh, which is nested ifs. And it makes sense because in that case, uh, we check only the first variable, which uh, is variable A. Um, it's not zero and, and everything else is not executed. So, yeah, that's the fastest way. Um, also, the same uh, goes when variable A is not equal to zero and variable B is equal to zero. But there is uh, quite differences uh, when uh, first variable is equal to zero and the other one is not equal to zero in that case our nested if solution um, is not so uh, fast uh, matter of fact the fastest is the method uh, number five using the absolute uh, function uh, on both of those variables and uh, adding the results together but let's see in total let's uh, calculate let's sum the, these values and see which is the method the fastest in all four cases so what we have here for method number one and let's calculate that okay and in the end we do have our winner which is uh, method number two and that's nested ifs um, of course after that um, the fastest thing is method number five using the absolute functions so let me write uh, the numbers so this is number one this is number two the third place takes method number one that's classic if statement with and operator so that's number three and of course uh, method number uh, four takes num uh, place number four and uh, method number three is on the last place that's place number five so yeah here we go um yeah um of course this is not definitive answer um simply because there is some solutions that um, are more suitable in some cases maybe sometimes it's better to use a little bit slower method but the method that takes uh, less characters per line so yeah but 
yeah for for the speed uh, method number two uh, with nested ifs is the fastest method of all but i'm quite surprised that this absolute function um, and adding those two values together is actually taking um, second place uh, which is absolutely great and it's very close to to method number number two so yeah very nice so yeah that's all that i have for you today so until next time goodbye <laughs>